What's up my dudes, Valk here, and today I'm going to be looking at Dory with you guys for the very first time. We're here on Honey Hunter World again, going after the third new unit coming alongside with Sumeru, Dory. Now, as far as Dory, don't know what she does, but we're going to find out together. Her ability looks cool, I know she rides the Electro Genie, I think that's kind of dope. I don't think it's called Genie though, I don't remember what it's called. But, we're going to go ahead and get into it. She has bonus HP as an ascendancy stat, that's pretty cool. Let's look at the normals. Uh, what exactly, what weapon does she use? She uses a claymore. That's shocking. Judging by animations, I don't remember that, but let's go ahead and let's look at them. Charge attack, max damage. Charge attack plunges from mid-air to strike the ground below, damaging opponents along the path and dealing AoE damage upon an impact. That's pretty cool. Plunging attack, uh, drain stat, charge attack, drain stamina, spinning. So very, very simple uh, female four-star uh, charge attack. Or is it, I wonder if... I wonder if Razor has the same charge attack, but it seems like they all pretty much have the exact same one. Uh, well, it's not it's not four star. It's uh, the shorter bodies, the shorter characters have this exact same spinning charge attack, and Noel has it. It's a pretty good one. It has a good chance for consistent damage dealing. So here we have on each hit 223.55. Eh, eh. What's her attack stat? Oh. Okay, so she is going to be HP scaling, I hope? Uh, detects or directs a spirit warding lamp to fire off a troubleshooter shot at opponents dealing electro damage. After the troubleshooter shot hits, it will create two after sales service rounds that will automatically track opponents and deal electro damage. Um, 265 and 57. That's not that good. Okay, so it's a genie. Not, not, a, not a genie, a genie. Okay. Connects to a nearby character. The connected character will continuously restore HP based on max HP. Okay. Continuously regenerate energy. Be affected by Electro. That might not be good. If you use her in conjunction with Bennett, I think you're going to be exploding yourself. When the connector between Ginny and the character touches opponents, it will deal one instance of Electro damage to them every 0.4 seconds. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Only one Ginny can exist at a time. All right. So, continuous healing at level 10, 12% of HP plus 14.12.46. 14, okay, energy generation 2.5, and this is per second, right? Uh, the connected character will continue to HP. It doesn't exactly say exactly how quick it goes. I'm going to assume it's per second. So this is a duration of 12 seconds, 2.5 HP per second. You're looking at 30 energy, I mean not 2.5 HP. Um, you're looking at about, what, 30 energy in total from it, right? Four second, yeah, you're looking at about 30 energy in total. That is, it's okay, I guess, and it's 80 energy cost, okay. Um, Connects to nearby character. The connected character will con so it's not even team wide. It's just the character it's connected to, huh? Uh, okay. After a character connected to Jenny triggers an electric charge, uh, basically an electric reaction. The cooldown of, is of her skill, right? Yeah, if her skill is decreased by one second, this effect can trigger once every three seconds. Alright, when the shots from the skill hit the opponent, Dory will store 5 elements of energy for every 100% energy recharge possessed. Maximum 15 energy can be restored this way. At the sales rounds, da da da, we are in combat, Ginny heals the characters connected to, will fire Ginny Toop from that character's position that deals 50% of troubleshooter's shots damage. The character connected to the Ginny will obtain the following buffs based on their current HP and energy. HP is lower than 50% of the gain. Okay, so you gain 30, 50, and 30. Dory gains the following effects after for three seconds when using her skill. Electro infusion, when normal attacks hit opponents, all nearby party members will heal HP equal to four. This seems okay, but it, it's capped out at 0.1 seconds, but she probably doesn't attack fast enough. And you have to normal attack, which I don't know what a normal attacks look like, but I'm going to assume not that good. So, I got a question after reading this. <clears throat> Why on earth? Uh, I, I'm just going, okay. I'm going to assume that maybe Deya or one of these future units, Nilo, or I don't know, any of these other future units coming are going to be absolutely cracked. 
because this first batch of Subaru units, at least to me personally, are really underwhelming. Like, I can't be the only one. Um, they feel incredibly underwhelming in terms of just overall kit. I'm going to be real. Outside of Dendro, outside of getting these characters for Dendro, nobody's going to use them. Unless they just really like the character, nobody that cares about having a strong team is going to be using any of these characters. So, I don't know what they're doing, man. Like, I don't know. This character, it's it sucks. I'm never going to use this character. I'm never going to build this character. If I get Dory, I, she's going to get benched, sidelined, and, and never see the light of day. Even though her design's cool, her animations are really cool. Um, I, I, she seems like a really interesting character. But, yeah. It's just, she seems very, very, very bad. And it seems to be a recurring theme. Kole just seems outside of just Dendro application. Seems very, eh. Tainare seems okay. I mean, in comparison to what we consider the best five stars right now, he's definitely lacking, but it visually is incredibly boring. And like I said, Kole, I'm the most excited for. I'm building Kole. I don't really care if she's bad, because I really like Kole from the manga and all the arcs she's been through. And, you know, I, I want to... Uh, I want to build Kole up just for that, but I'm not going to sit here and tell you Kole's good. Kole's definitely not that good. So why are the Sumeru units bad, is my question. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe it needs testing, but from what I can see, these units are just... I guess build them if you like them is pretty much it, right? Anyways, that's basically my thoughts on Dory. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you guys think maybe I'm being a little too harsh on the Sumer units? Or do you guys maybe have some way that these units are good and I'm just missing it? I just don't see it? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Maybe I'm, I'm hoping I'm genuinely wrong and these units are cracked. But I genuinely have no idea. Thank you guys for watching, as always. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.